Hi again, Mark's Minerals Videos. We're doing the slaughter piece, slaughter mountain piece beginning to end. I've done all the sanding on it. I've exposed the valleys and a lot of the color. And so right now we're just going to do a little preliminary polishing. Uh, I usually do that first and then I can look at the stone and examine it, see if I want to go deeper. Um, I have a variety of tools that I would use for this. I have some tools and wheels that I use from Diashine that are useful. I also have some bits that I use, the um, uh, Nova points from Diamond Pacific are excellent, but a lot of these, if you're just starting out, can be a little cost prohibitive. So until you've determined that you love the working with a stone and you're going to use them, don't bother. Um, these things, I think it was a couple bucks for 25 it Just it, It's possible to get it done on a budget. And that way, if it turns out that you aren't really into uh, cutting this stuff, you don't have to spend a bunch of money. All right. So again, gentle pressure and constant moisture. If we could just get this to stay in focus, I'd be appreciative. Here we go. I like the smaller wheels because it allows you to get in the... Uh... I apologize for this. There we go. There we go. It's a little hard to stay in focus and pay attention to what I'm doing. One thing is I'd normally go slower and pay more attention, but for the sake of the video, I'm trying to show you what I do. I might rush a couple of steps. It's the lightest feathery touch. Now's the time where you can start to get past any of the brown till you've exposed all your color. And it's slow going, but this polishing pad works great. What I do is I smooth it all out, make sure that I've gotten in all those crevices. And I'm starting to eliminate and eradicate all that brown. And then I'll put on the uh, my visor, or use a jeweler's loop, and it ex examine it to see if there's any scratches or cracks that I have to catch. If so, those can be highlighted with a sharpie, or I have these uh, aluminum pencils. These things are great because it allows you to look at this with the jeweler's loop and go, well. I want to go a little bit deeper here, and you'll start to see that silver mark, but water won't wash it away. And just come in later. Work at it, work at it. And that way you'll know what you're... You see it's already starting to expose more of that green. Remember it's positional, so turn the stone frequently, check it from different angles. Make sure you're not blowing through some great color to get to something else. And... Uh, keep following those steps. This is pretty much uh, done except for going a little bit deeper to polish in. When I'm doing some of the final polishing I'll check back in with you. Thanks for watching Mark's Minerals videos and if you want to see more content don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great night. Thanks.